big problem for students in high school is having confidence in themselves. A Henfield guidance counselor, as well as some students, tried to explain why this is a problem and how it can be solved. In a survey of 8,000 students from stageoflife.com, 59% said that they have felt inferior because of their appearance, among other insecurities such as intelligence, race, and gender. Well, I think Hempfield students are not dissimilar to other teenagers uh, when it comes to just self-esteem and your overall image. Uh, I think teenage years are particularly tough just because you know, you're know you kind of learning who you are, what's important to you. There's a lot of changing dynamics that happen within friend groups that happen at the high school level. So I think a lot of those things kind of contribute to feelings of you know, maybe insecurity or uh, negative self-esteem. Most of the people that compare themselves to others or like the people that they're comparing themselves to are like celebrities and people in magazines who are completely just photoshopped and so it's not really truly themselves and so for the fact that people are comparing themselves especially girls to people in magazines is just really sad because we're living up to this expectation that's just not real. I have seen many people in high school have issues with self-confidence. If somebody's having um, self-confidence issues that are maybe a little more severe, then they should probably go at least talk to a guidance counselor. It's very important to have a good self-esteem and a good mindset. And when we're taking care of ourselves, we're, we're in tune with our emotions and what our needs are, and we're actually responding to those, um, we're better people. And so when you're feeling better about yourself and your needs are being taken care of, like you're better to the people around you, you're more focused, you're more in tuned with you know, what you need to get done and how you're gonna do it. So what can be done to increase someone's self-esteem? It kind of depends on your outlook. So do you have a positive outlook on life or you do tend to be more negative and critical? And if you are, like what's, what's causing that? What's prompting that? So really taking some time to kind of reflect on um, what are the things that you feel good about? What are things that make you feel confident? And then what are some of those things that are detracting from that? Um, I think once you can you get an idea of what that is, then you have a better kind of plan of attack on what you can do to help improve that. Being confident in yourself is important to ensuring your happiness and success. If you're struggling with your self-esteem, you should reach out to the people you trust for help. For Hempfield Happenings, I'm Meredith Hunter.